Hi, I'm Eric Lempel, Director of PlayStation Network Operations, here with a preview of Firmware Update 2.70. There are a lot of great features in this Firmware Update, and the first of which is text chat. So let's take a look at how this works. So in order to start a text chat, you can go down to your friends list, and you can click on a friend, or you can click the triangle button on a friend, and that's what I'll do here, and we'll try to start a chat with Jeff. And I'll click on Start New Chat over here on the screen. And then it'll give you a choice between text chat or audio video chat, so I'll hit text chat in this case. You can name the chat room here. I'll just use the default text chat, and we'll jump in. And now once you're in here, you can start typing messages. And uh, any second now, Jeff should accept my request for uh, chatting. And uh, let's send him a message. I'm using the uh, PlayStation 3 keypad, which is a great way to do this. But you can also do this with a USB keypad or Bluetooth keypad. So now the nice thing about this is once you start communicating with someone, you can carry the communication over into a game, and you can also accept invites to chat rooms and chat from within a game. So I'm actually going to launch into Killzone right now. So now that I'm in game, all I have to do is press the PS button, and I'll go over to chat room up here. And as you can see, it's got the chat log saved from my last response to Jeff. I'll click on that. Now we're both in game, so the chat's still going on. He'll be on ISA. This sounds good. So now that we're all set, I'll just uh, drop out of the cross-media bar and go back in the game and start the game, and then I can start playing with Jeff, and that's how text chat works. So we'll, uh, we'll exit out of kill zone so I can show you some more of the other features. So once you've got a chat set up, you can actually have up to three chat rooms running at one time, and you can invite up to 15 other people into the chat room. So 16 people at once can participate in the chat. So now let's take a look at some of the other features. So we've made some improvements to the friend list. So in the past, the friend list was sorted by everyone who was online alphabetically, and then everybody who was offline alphabetically. So now you can actually sort it in a new way. So I'll go down here, I'll triangle over Jeff, and you can sort by name, and that'll again put everything in alphabetical order. or you can sort by status. So this will show you the order of when someone was last online or if they're online now. So it'll start out with your online friends and then show your first friend who's offline who was on last. So with the popularity of the video delivery service from the PlayStation Store, we've received a lot of requests to back up your videos because a lot of you are out there and you're purchasing videos and you know you can store them on your PS3 today, but you couldn't store them externally. So with firmware update 2.7, you can actually do that now. So if I go over to the uh, video area, I've actually purchased Spider-Man 2. By clicking on the triangle button, you'll see there's a backup option now. If you click on backup, you can back this up to any external device. You can then delete it from your hard drive, and when you're ready to watch it again, you can restore it by simply plugging in your backup device, hitting a restore button, and it'll just bring back that file or any other files that you've backed up. So we hope you enjoyed this preview of firmware 2.70. There are some other features included in this update, and you can read all about them on the PlayStation blog or on PlayStation.com, and we look forward to your feedback.